Good morning, everyone. My name is Chin Mai Bhavani Shankar. Um, it's quite a mouthful, but I am part of the US Partner Experience team. And with me today on the call is also the Regional Support Center team. We have Judy and Jesse, who are the managers. Um, and also we have Sergio and Bernie, who are the subject matter experts on Office 365 internal use right activation. This call, um, in case you're in the wrong place, I just want to make sure, this call is focused on the Office 365 E3 internal use right activation for all Microsoft partners. So the reason um, we're doing this call is to help you activate your Office 365 internal use rights. We um, at Microsoft do talk a lot about partners um, activating their internal use rights, and I'll give you an introduction and also an overview of the useful resources. And I will actually walk through one of those resources as we talk about activating this. So I myself am relatively new. I've been with the US Partner Experience team for about a year. So when I go through this um, knowledge base article, which has a step-by-step -step screenshots of how you can activate it, I'm also new. So I'll be asking questions um, and I'll be trying to address as many of the blockers um, as I can that you um, all will also likely face. And we'll have our support personnel answer these questions. Moving on, so just a quick overview of internal use rights. Um, I know a lot of you do know this, so please bear with me. Um, it is a cloud services and on-premises software benefit in the Microsoft Partner Network for Microsoft Action Pack subscribers and partners with the silver or gold competency. Now, Microsoft offers internal use licenses to its latest software and cloud services, giving partners the opportunity to use them in their business and experience it themselves. Now, um, why should you use IUR um, or internal use rights? Microsoft research indicates that partners that use their internal use rights benefit sell three times larger deal sizes than partners that don't. Now, sales enablement aside, there are four other reasons for you to activate and use your benefit. First, you can get firsthand knowledge of the features and capabilities of our latest products. Second, you can perform internal development and testing on the latest technology. Third, you can reduce the cost of running your internal business and also fourth, increase productivity of your internal teams. You can also get a snapshot of your IUR benefit eligibility and consumption in your partner summary report. Here is a snapshot of all the Office 365 IURs you would get depending on your membership. So if you're a Microsoft Action Pack subscriber, you will get about five seats initially. Um, for all these competencies, which is the small and mid-market cloud, cloud productivity, and all other competencies, whether you're silver or gold, the numbers differ. There's also the IUR license calculator. So you can go in and track how much IUR you have um, and also possibly look at buying um, additional licenses if that's what you need. Just to also make you aware of an offer that we have going on, uh, Microsoft has partnered with Skykick to um, give you access to their migration suites so you can deploy your business to Office 365. The offer has been available this last year and it has been extended to June 30, 2016. If you go to www.skykick.com slash IUR, you'll be able to see additional details. All right. Useful resources. Um, you can download your IUR benefits. Uh, you can activate your IUR benefits. And specifically, I will be talking about this support knowledge base article. Um, there are two key ones. One is the how to earn Office 365 IUR benefits. And the second one, how to activate and assign Office 365 IUR licenses. So I'll be walking through the second one. 
Sorry. And before I actually walk through that article, um, I wanted to make you aware of this particular slide. So as a US partner, um, this is kind of um, a combination of all the important links regarding training, WPC, the partner network, and the community that you would like to have in handy. Um, a lot of our partners refer back to this. We have a shortened link where you can find the most up-to-date version. Um, so just keep this in mind, and I wanted to make sure you're aware of it. And in terms of upcoming partner calls, um, for all in-person and online and events and conference calls, you can use the hot sheet. And for this activation series today, um, November 20th, this is the first one for Office 365, we will have similar calls for Azure um, and also Dynamic CRM Online. So the call details are on the Yammer group in the MPN 101 group. There's also a new partner orientation uh, coming up January 20th, 2016 um, at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time. The call details for this and a calendar invite will also be in the MPN 101 group. So we'll be walking through how to activate and assign Office 365 internal use right licenses. Um, the link is in the chat window. Uh, you can take a look at that. And again, here is the actual KB link as well. So initially, again, the first step for new partners, you can start by signing up for the Microsoft Action Pack subscription or either earning a competency. So unless you do that, you will not have any of the internal use right benefits. Um, I'm assuming most of the partners on here either have that. Um, so we'll move forward. So for if you're an existing partner, and bear in mind, this is the first time I'm going through this as well. Um, I've seen it a couple of times, but um, I'll be asking a lot of questions. And if you have any questions, also please feel free to add that on. So if you go to the Microsoft Partner Digital Download Portal, which is aka.ms slash activate IUR, and you will have to sign in with the Microsoft account, which was the Windows Live account that has currently assigned administrator rights. So um, Sergio, can you talk to me about the administrator rights? So if I don't have the administrator rights for my partner organization, uh, will I be able to see some of the IURs that I have? Uh, yes, well, uh, talking about the administrator rights, uh, we will need to have the download privileges in the organization. If the uh, individual who uh, want to access to the download portal uh, does not have uh, perhaps the uh, primary program contact role in the organization, but they still have the download privileges in the organization mm -hmm. uh, with his Windows Live ID, with his Microsoft account, he, should be, or he, she, he or she should be able to access the download portal and see the, the uh, licenses. If I'm the primary program contact, I can assign download privileges to people um, in my partner organization. So that's, that's essentially what I got from that. Again, if you are the yes. primary program contact, um, you will be able to see all the licenses. Um, make sure you can assign these privileges to um, your personnel, your technical personnel within your company. So from there, you can select Microsoft Online Services section, where you will see this screen with the software keys and license benefits. From there, and again, here you can see that um, we do note that as an administrator, you can grant privileges to additional people that are associated with your company's account. So you can click on that link and grant the privileges right now. If you're not an administrator, you can view your permissions and get your administrator's contact information. I've also unmuted the audience, so if you do have questions, uh, please let me know.
You can also figure out who um, is the administrator in case it's a bigger company. Um, you can get your administrator's contact information by clicking on that link. And again, you get there by selecting Microsoft Online Services by going on, um, by signing in with your account at aka.ms slash activate IUR. So if you click on Microsoft Office 365, which should show up as one of your keys or, or one of your products, now, um, Bernie, I did have a question earlier uh, from a partner saying there are multiple um, Office 365 products and or keys that are listed there. Is that ever a case? Yes, uh, there is a case, especially when you, uh, you have up to 90 days to renew whatever competency or action pack you have active but the keys will remain on the portal until they expire so let's say on the event that your partnership or your, or your competency expires on december and you renew uh today so tomorrow you will have uh the old keys listed until they expire and the new keys provided on your new action pack or competency so that is the reason why on the portal sometimes shows more than one or two keys now that is one of the of the scenarios the other scenario would be if the partner has more than one competency which is possible especially that uh, we need to keep in mind that competency and action packs are eligible per location so that means a company with probably five locations and and uh, two competencies on every location mm, will have 10 uh, IUR or, or 10 tokens listed on the portal okay. so that is the reason that is the common, most common reason why there's more than one token listed Okay, so um, the product will be just one, right? So then once I click into Microsoft Office 365, um, the token code, I might have multiple. Is that correct? That is absolutely correct. And, and again, that will depend on your... Um, on the amount of competencies or action packs mm -hmm. you have mm -hmm. when you renewed and in this case uh, probably we haven't uh, get to that point yet but uh, with the action pack when you get to sell 25 seats of ETH or, or any online services within the last 12 months you get an additional five license token which is listed of, uh, underneath the uh, token you have open there underneath additional sell, uh, seats through sales so that's that's those are the reasons why. Okay, so just to summarize, um, there is an uh, there is a chance that a partner can see multiple tokens for Microsoft Office 365 in this step six. Uh, one is if you have recently renewed, so you have like you have the old token and the new token. Um, and second, if you have multiple competencies or multiple locations, then you'll have a token code for each competency in each location. Did I summarize that correctly? Absolutely, perfect. And for the first scenario where you just renewed and you have the two different token codes, um, and if I'm just activating, say today, what which code would I use? We should be using the co uh, the token with the expiration date of within a year from now. Let's say you will have a second token uh, expiring on November twentieth, twenty sixteen. Uh, give or take yeah. so that is the reason uh, that's the token we need to use in order to in this case will be a renewal okay. of your current officer five subscription if we get the token the previous token that is uh, just about to expire and it's already been activated probably along the process you will get a, me a message saying this token is no longer available but that is the reason why because it's already been activated so we need to use the new token in order to renew okay sounds good thank you um, I am also seeing a couple comments here, uh, one about E5 um, and wondering if that will become an IUR. Um, 
we are we are still waiting for information on this from our worldwide team so once we do get that information and some dates we will let you know right now um, we're not aware whether that will be an IUR and if so when we will actually find out So Sam, you said, I haven't received the renewal tokens yet. Um, it'll depend on whether you are an active um, Action Pack subscriber or a competency uh, partner. If you do have that, then do send me a note on Yammer so uh, we can have a support personnel call you. Jennifer, I have to update my token each year I renew my IPN, uh, my MPN. Um, that is correct, right, Sergio? Yes, that is correct. Uh, every year, um, as soon as you renew your um, Action Pack subscription or your competency, you will get a new token and you will uh, renew your, um, your subscription. So Mike, hopefully that answered your question as well about um, the licensing slash implementation being affected during action pack renewals annually. So you'll get a new token and you'll have to kind of go in and renew that to keep the internal um, access. Jen, your question about our office IUR rights are expiring four months before our membership is due for renewal. Is this normal? Sergio, can you answer that? uh the last question about uh the, yeah expiring okay um, four months before a membership is due for renewal uh well we will need to analyze the exactly the case uh, perhaps uh, the last the renewal uh, instead of uh renewing the subscriptions or the tokens perhaps uh were uh, added a new token okay and so this seems be a to reason. be Okay, this seems to be a one-off case. So Jen, if you want to send me a message on Yammer with your MPN ID and your contact number, we'll have someone call you right away. Okay, so um, just to go back again, um, once you click on Microsoft Office 365, the product, you can see the product keys and you'll see which one it's applicable to. So you, it'll say whether you've earned the IUR benefit based on your participation in MPN, so Microsoft Action Pack or additional seats through sales. You can kind of um, maximize that. And once you maximize, so here you can tell um, in step six, if you maximize Microsoft Action Pack in this particular case, you'll see that there's a token code, the number of seats, and the expiration date associated with that. So if you do see multiple keys and you're just an Action Pack subscriber, then make sure you um, activate the one with the later expiration date because it's likely that it's an older token from um, your previous subscription. So select the link at the bottom of the page. Um, and navigate to Microsoft Office 365 Key Redemption Portal. So to redeem these tokens, so this um, in step six, you'll see the token, but if on that uh, page, if you scroll down, you should see these special instructions um, where there is a link to go to the um, Office 365 Key Redemption Portal. So um, Bernie, when I go to this portal, do I have to sign in again? Okay, um, here's something that we need to keep in mind before we proceed with the activation. And this is that the browsers, and, and this is uh, for every browser, recognize your uh, existing credentials. So if you have an Office 365 account already open on your browser, next to the tab you're using for you uh, to redeem your tokens is going to automatically recognize and is going to go directly to that Office 365 account that uh, you previously have open. So in this case, if you're certain that you are only using your Office 365 account there, well, you can just uh, go there and it'll recognize you won't have to sign in. You only have to paste in the product key you have in this page 
and click Down Redeem Tokens and next and it'll take you to your Office 365 Admin Center. Now in the event that on the same browser you have opened probably one of your customers Office 365 account or your personal or any other that you don't want to have those uh, IURs activated on it is recommendable that you uh, go in private on your off on your Internet Explorer just press control shift P and and copy the link on a new in private browser this is just to keep uh, or to be certain that the tokens that you're activating are going to go to the correct uh, Office 365 account. And if you go in private, of course, yes, you will need to uh, sign in this time with your Office 365 ID, which is it usually is not the same as the live ID you use to sign into this page. So, yeah, those are the two options. Okay, so a couple things. So one, looks like we were talking about a second login at this point, right? Um, so if I don't have an Office 365 login, um, which I'm hoping is not the case, um, almost everyone has, e is, has probably used it either for their customers or for themselves or for personal um, reasons. But regardless, say I don't have an Office 365 account, what do I do then? There's a create your account if you paste the token and click next. It's a create your account uh, page, which is, which is the same uh, template that is used to create a trial account. So you will put in your contact information. You will create. You will give in the option to create a new account, a new data Microsoft.com account, even set up your first user and password. You will receive through uh, uh, usually your your cell phone a message with the activation code and uh, well you put it in click next and you get your new own office 365 account okay so once i have my office 365 account i can copy and paste this link from um, the internal use right uh, page and this link will automatically be associated to me and my office 365 account is that correct that is correct Okay, and the other scenario that you mentioned was that if you have other accounts open or other Office 365 accounts that you have opened on your browser, make sure one, you either sign out, sign out of everything so you're not going into someone else's account to activate this IU, um, this internal use right for them. Um, the other option would be to start an in private uh, browsing option so that you know that you're logging into your personal account because this um, internal news right is meant for you. Am I, uh, was that a good summary? And that is perfect, yes. Okay. So Jennifer here has a question. My tokens were actually active until three months after my MPN renewal, so I would continue using the prior IUR until the actual expiration of my Office 365 IUR. Um, so just remember to sign in to update the token on the actual expiration date aligned to the IUR expiration. Yeah. Thank you, Jennifer. That's a, that's a good point. Okay, so now step eight here, um, I guess I, I'd kind of jumped ahead. So it does talk about how to get started. So if you're an existing partner who'd like to activate your product key on your existing online tenant, please sign in before you activate your Office 365 product key. Each key, each product key may be activated only once. And once the product key has been activated for online tenants, those seats cannot be moved to another online tenant. So you hit the checkbox and you hit start. And then the next step is to take the 25 digit token code, <clears throat> copy and paste it in the product key part you select done adding product keys and then you enter all the required information so um why is it that we're asking partners to enter information again on the office 365 portal um sergio 
Well, in, in this case here is uh, the uh, to create the Office 365 account uh, for the okay. first time partners. So if I already have an Office 365 account, then this should already be populated. Is that right? Or I wouldn't have uh, well. Uh, no, in this case, uh, if they already have an Office 365 account uh, on the, uh, if you scroll up the website, you will see the sign in uh, option, and uh, this is this page will not be necessary. Gotcha. Okay, sounds good. So this would only be if I'm not yet an Office 365 customer. Understood. Yes. Okay, and then I hit click start using Office 365 and I can add a new user to the same license. So I can have multiple users on the same internal use right account, is that correct? Absolutely, yes. Okay. All right, so with that step, um, I would have created a new user account for my employee and have assigned an Office 365 license to this user. <coughs> um, so this is the knowledge base article. I know it almost sounds simpler um, when we're talking through it, but I know there are quite a few steps uh, and there are a lot of roadblocks that you might um, come across. So again, uh, we're at 9.30 right now. Um, if you have questions, I'm opening up the floor. Please ask away, and we have Sergio and Bernie here ready to answer your questions. You can either unmute yourself or type it in in the chat box. And while we're waiting, um, just to kind of go through this um, one more time, you'll have to sign in um, with your Microsoft Partner Network account or your Windows Live account with the administrator rights. Um, and if you don't have the administrator rights, you can get your administrator's contact information uh, from, again, aka.ns slash activate IUR. Once you've done that and you're the administrator and you have the rights and privileges, you will see the product um, and you can click on Microsoft Office 365. I'm wondering if I have. Is there a way I can see if this has already been activated, Lucy? Um, Sergio, could you answer that? Uh, yes. Uh Lucy, you mean your Office 365 subscription, or what What do you want to? Yeah, yes? correct. Okay, uh, yes, uh, maybe Bernie can correct me, but uh, we have an option here on our system to check if the token has been activated or not. So will, the, will Lucy be able to see whether um, the token has been activated or not? Uh, in this case, Lucy would have to go through the process and if you could probably show Lucy the the screenshot on the part that I think it was the 12 step when you put in your token number, uh -huh. uh, it's going to display a message saying this token has already been here on, on step 10. Okay. So next to it, it will be a red cross saying this token has already been activated. Gotcha. So, uh, it's until this point that we know if the token is available or not. Now, uh, there is a chance that uh, for a certain period amount of time on the partner portal on the list of tokens listed, um, the token, even though it's expired, might be listed. It's not common, mm -hmm. but it will show on the expiration date, it will show expired. Uh, so if we don't see expired and the expiration date hasn't come yet, uh, it's up to the step number 10 uh, when we found whether if the token is uh, activated previously or it's available to be activated. Okay, so unfortunately Lucy will have to go through um, until step 10 um, to actually see whether this token has already been activated or not. Correct. Chip, um, you're saying you already have an email account associated with your MPN. Um, 
that you don't want to move to Office 365. Is that right? I, how can I set well, up an alternate Office 365 account? Well, uh, uh, and the, your MPN account or your login will not be moved to Office 365. Actually, you create a new uh, account in Office 365. So your login is still, you can still using your login for MPN and use another login to Office 365. Gotcha. So that's why it asks you to sign in once again, right? So <clears throat> coming back to the point where we're talking about if you have your customer's Office 365 account or your own other Office 365 account that you don't want to kind of merge, make sure you open it in, in private and you log in with the Office 365 credentials that you want to be associated with this internal use right token key. And that way um, you will be able to go across that. And Scott is adding another note. Um, if you're renewing your licenses, um, you need to choose between adding licenses or extending. Adding licenses can result in more licenses for a shorter duration. It averages the one-year subscription add to the remainder of the existing subscription. Extending will cause the new licenses to activate after the existing licenses expire. We'll come back to um, Scott's point again. So Chip, so you just create a different ID under create your new user ID. Yes, um, I believe that's right. So here where it says get started with Office 365, um, I wouldn't sign in with your original ID. I would start again and go through the step 8, 9, 10, 11 to kind of completely have a different user ID and here as well. I hope that makes sense. And again, if you if you would rather have someone walk you through that, just send me a message on Yammer um, with your MPN ID and a contact number and we'll have someone call you back. Charles, um, you were talking about, so we bought E3 licenses for our users because we had troubles getting IUR set up. Once we get this set up, will we be able to cancel our subscription without causing any issues? Sergio or Bernie, do you want to take that up? Absolutely. Uh, yes, uh, the, the response for Charles is uh, yes. Uh, I would suggest Charles, if we could uh, get in touch with your uh, with the Microsoft Partner Network in order, if you're a partner or uh, in this case uh, directly with the cloud, in order for us to process the cancellation and and make sure that along the cancellation process there's no impact on you financially speaking and productivity speaking in case uh, you using some of the features or something else. We, we want to make sure that the moment you cancel your current E3 and transition to the new IURs, there's no interruption on services and, of course, no impact financially speaking. So, yes, uh, you may feel free to call us at the cloud department and we'll be more than happy to help you. Yep, or Charles, you can also send me a message right now with your MPN ID and your contact information and we'll have someone call you back. John, um, so they should sign in if they have an existing Office 365 tenant and sign up if they do not, correct? Um, <clears throat> correct if you want the existing Office 365 tenant to be associated with your um, IUR token. So if you would rather have them be separate accounts um, and if you're using it to, for a personal reason, uh, then sign up. So that's the only caveat, but otherwise you're correct. Um, I would want to go back to Scott's point here about adding licenses or extending licenses. I think I saw it, um, an option to add licenses somewhere here. <clears throat> um, Sergio, do you think you can um, explain that one more time? Scott made a point about when you add licenses, um, you're, it'll, it might result in a shorter duration, whereas when you're extending it, you can just add the new product key and once one expires, the other one kind of takes over. Yes, yes, Chinmayu. Uh, do you remember that uh, Jen uh, 
ask us about the uh, his in, her internal use rights expiring be, four months before uh, her membership. Yeah. So that could be the reason. Uh, maybe uh, obviously uh, she will send you the part her partner ID so we can check uh, her account. Uh, but this could be a reason. Uh, maybe they added licenses instead of uh, renewing or extending their licenses. Okay. But that's why uh, uh, the period or uh, the licenses uh, will expire at shorter duration. Okay, so will I see another link here on the step 10? So right now I see the add another product key link. Will there be an extend your subscription or something like that here? How would I know? Okay, I can answer that. As a matter of fact, if, you rem if we remember, uh, before we get here, uh, we need to sign in. It was recommended to sign in first. Yeah. So we get to this part and we click, uh, if you scroll down, and as a matter of fact, if we have multiple tokens, we can just click on add another product key and add as many as we have. And when we click on done adding product keys, there, uh, of course, this uh, presentation is uh, focused on first time activation. Right. But it's, if the case is a renewal option in the system, as you already uh, sign into an Office 365 account, it recognizes there is an existing subscription for the same E3 uh, licenses. Okay. It is going to display two options add, uh, add to the current subscription, and it's going to give you the result of the of adding this key so let's pretend or let's say you have an existing five uh, license subscription that is going to expire today and you add one uh, or, or select the add option uh -huh. it is going to say it's going to display a message saying you will end up with 10 licenses for six months and there's going to be another option underneath saying renew and that renew will display a label saying you will end up with five licenses active for a year. Gotcha. So that's that's the part where, and this is the sign or the process is signed for uh, not only IURs but any other open uh, license key. So uh, that is the reason why we have these two options. If we just talking about uh, renewing our current IURs, then we always have to select the renew option to make sure we end up with the right amount of seats for the right amount of time within a year from now. That makes sense. Okay, so I will actually see how long this license or when this license will expire once I kind of put the product key in, correct? Exactly. And of course, how many licenses you would end up with because if uh -huh. you click on the ad, it's going to give you 10. And if you click on renew, it's going to give you five. Let's pretend uh, we're just activating five, of course. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Hopefully that clarified. Thanks for everyone. I know I'm a thick skull, so I keep asking more questions. All right. So. I am not seeing any other questions. I'll give it one more minute. Um, regardless, um, again, until 10 o'clock, if you send me a message on Yammer with your MPN ID and your contact information, we can have um, someone call you back. Um, Edmund is asking about Microsoft Azure. So um, this call is focused specifically on Office 365 E3 internal use right license activation. Wow, that was a mouthful. Um, the next call on December 4th, again at 9 a.m., it's a Friday at 9 a.m. after Thanksgiving, we will be going through the same process but for Azure. So if you want to join in on that call, the calendar invite is on the MPN 101 group. I will also post it in the all network um, in this thread um, so you can get that information. And we'll talk about Azure at that point in time. Are you going to cover how to set up DNS entries after accounts are active, or is there a resource? Um, Sergio, is there a resource specifically for that that you can think of? Uh, well, we will need to, to check uh, in our resources. 
if if he could send us uh, his MPN ID, uh, we are more than happy to check that for him. Thank you. So this was the end of, um, I guess, the, all the information that we had to cover on this particular call. So there is, um, I'm almost ready to give you guys a few minutes back on your calendar if there aren't any more questions. Again, I hope this was helpful. Um, I know we just went through a resource that is already there and available to you, but many a times uh, we don't have the time. So I was hoping that this clarified things for you and had your questions answered. Uh, we will make sure that um, someone calls you if you've sent me a message. Francis is asking, I have an NPN account and how do I know if I'm eligible for um, Office 365 IUR? Bernie, do you want to answer that? Of course, every single partner, every single NPN uh, uh, partner with partner ID, which is active, is eligible to uh, to get in sale or to get the uh, IURs. The IURs are provided only through... with only those with um, Action Pack subscription or uh, competency, correct? And exactly. Those are um, uh, the way the 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 ways to earn those IURs is through an, uh, an Action Pack and or on um, um, uh, a competency, silver or gold competency. Uh, but every single NPN partner with an NPN uh, uh, or NPN or partner ID active and with the Microsoft Online Service Partner Agreement signed, completely signed, it's eligible for the action pack or competencies. Okay, that, yeah, that's correct. You, you are eligible. Um, I guess if you sign up to an action pack and or competency, you will have the Office 365 IUR. All right, well, um, thank you all for joining. I hope this was helpful. Uh, please give any feedback that I can use to improve the Azure call on December 4th. Again, uh, a quick reminder on December 4th is this same call, but for Azure internal use rights. And on December 11th, we will be tackling CRM online. Um, this session will be recorded and it will be available to you with all the Q&A. So you can listen to it at a later time if you would like. And thank you again and happy Thanksgiving. Thank you.